Welcome to our lesson on image files. Here we'll learn about the properties of static image files as well as the different file formats commonly used. Let's dive in. There are two types of digital static images. Bitmap or raster images and vector images. Bitmap images consist of numerous individual color pixels arranged in a grid to form a complete picture. Each pixel represents a tiny dot of color and by zooming into a bitmap image, you can actually see these distinct color pixels. The colors in these images are stored as numbers, typically defined by an RGB value. This system allows for the assignment of a number between 0 and 255 for each primary color, red, green, and blue. In contrast, vector images do not rely on pixel grids. Instead, they record the coordinates of specific points on a page, Connecting these points with straight and curved paths determined through mathematical calculations. Consequently, vector images do not require data for individual pixels. This attribute is particularly advantageous when resizing images. While enlarging a raster image may cause it to appear pixelated, vector images can be resized without any loss of quality, as the paths are simply recalculated based on the coordinates. However, vector images have their limitations too. They cannot store complex color variations like bitmaps can, as vectors are restricted to using flat colors or basic gradients. Now we've seen the two different types of digital images, let's discuss their common properties. The first of these that we will look at is pixel dimensions. You will recall that we said bitmap images are made up of a grid of pixels. Pixel dimensions refers to the size of that grid. For instance, a grid could be 7 pixels high by 10 pixels wide or larger by 1024 by 768 pixels. Higher pixel dimensions usually mean better quality, but that depends on screen resolution or print size. We'll discuss resolution shortly. One issue with larger pixel dimensions is that it leads to larger file sizes. Every single pixel of color takes up a certain amount of storage, commonly 3 bytes. So higher resolutions mean more pixels and therefore larger file sizes. Now let's talk about DPI and PPI resolution. PPI, dots per inch, and PPI, pixels per inch. Measure the number of color pixels used per inch of an image. TPI is common for printing, while PPI is for screen display. PPI and PPI resolution directly impacts image quality more than pixel dimension. If we had an 800 by 600 pixel image, this will appear lower quality on a 52 inch screen than on a 13 inch screen. This is because the number of pixels per inch on the larger screen will be much lower, meaning that each pixel occupies a larger area on the screen. This can result in a more pixelated or blocky appearance, making the image appear less sharp. Bitmap and vector images use various file formats. Each format has its uses benefits and drawbacks. Bitmap formats include TIFF, JPEG, GIF, and PNG. TIFF is a lossless compressed bitmap format for high quality printing and scanning, providing excellent quality for photography and desktop publishing. However, it has less effective compression, resulting in larger file sizes, and is unsupported by most web browsers. JPEG is a lossy compressed bitmap format for online photography artwork, and lower quality printing. It offers high compression, making it suitable for website images, but loses image quality, causing artifacts and pixelation. GIF is a lossless compressed bitmap format for simple web graphics and animations. It creates small file sizes due to using less colors, supports transparency and simple animations, but is limited to 256 colors, making it unsuitable for photographs. PNG is a lossless compressed bitmap format for high quality images requiring transparency and serves as an alternative to JPEG and GIF. It allows for an adjustable color depth and transparency levels but compresses less effectively than JPEG. Common vector formats include SVG, EPS, and PDF. SVG is a compressed vector format commonly used for the web. It produces smaller file sizes through compression is compatible with most web browsers, and supports animation effects. However, 
It's not optimized for large-scale printing and cannot contain any raster data. EPS, an outdated vector format for printing, is highly compatible with graphic design software and printers. It can contain raster data but isn't supported by web browsers and has poor compression capabilities compared to SVG. PDF is a compressed vector format for printing and web document display. It ensures consistent display across devices, can contain raster data, and offers excellent compatibility while compressing to smaller file sizes. However, PDF images cannot be directly edited, requiring the original image to be retained in another format. In conclusion, understanding the differences between bitmap and vector images, their properties, and various file formats is essential for optimizing image quality and file size. Consider pixel dimensions, resolution, and the appropriate format when working with images to achieve the best results in various applications.